just talk. What do I say? A lot to say. Maybe not a lot to say. Just talk. The hardest part of coming back after six months off is trying to figure out what to say. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I'm I'm out camping. Good for me. Thanks for stopping by and joining I've I've got no idea how to introduce this video and even like reintroduce myself in general I guess do I like do I even need to is that something I need to do is it or can I just act as if I was never gone for six months and and just be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out camping on a river, <laughs> just like I was never gone. <laughs> oh man, this is a train wreck. I'm up around the 2J area, so this is the Avon River, it's just here. We're about 70 odd k's out of Perth City up here. At 60 k's from Midland. <coughs> you have to excuse me, I'm getting over a cold and I'm still not quite 100%, so my brain's not functioning quite as well as it usually does, and which is very little. And yeah, I'm just a bit, a bit <laughs> not great. It's very nice to be out. I really, I'm rambling a lot. I'm gonna just. Turn it down.
not sure what it is lately. I've just, I've just not been able to escape all the tools and the dickheads that come out. For the most part, I had the place to myself, which I expected. Um, and uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Fourish? What do you mean about fourish? Half four? Car turned up. And the music started, and they're just yabbering on. They came quite close because I'm in a little nice little nook in here, so they wanted to make the most of it as well. And pulled in right there, and they were just non stop. The, the noise and the music going, and um, it just it ruined. <laughs> it ruined the entire evening I had planned to film Any little. Any little noise, and there's constant oof, oof, oof going, and and just the just swearing and carrying on like like there was people coming and going all day with dogs walking their dogs and that, and there was chatter and but everyone was fine. That wasn't an issue. I was filming with all that going on, but these two were just on another level. It was like they were deliberately trying to I don't know. Um, and then the first video back. That I haven't filmed for so long, and um, I was putting a lot, I was riding a lot on this one, um, wanted, it, wanted it to be good and wanting to feel satisfied about it, and that started, and I was like, that's it, I'm done. Camera's in the car, and I didn't know if they were camping or if they were hanging around. They were only here for a few hours, um, but right in that, right in that time when I, because they they came. And lit a fire, cooked some food, um, left their fire going too, by the way. So I went over and kicked it out after they left. Just like, like, what's the chances, man? I'm, <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, maybe I'm being a bit dramatic, I don't know, perhaps, but I know, like, what I want from a video, and I know what, what that's going to contribute to it and it wasn't anything good. I don't know man, it's just, YouTube's hard. That's why I've had a break from it because it's just, other, other factors to it as well like, but yeah, that's been another one as well of just, it's things like that that I'm like, oh, it's all good now, beautiful morning now. And when I say pissed off, it was like, just incredibly quiet. I could hear the ringing in my ears again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
en route. Next stop, York. I might get a bite to eat in there, I think. A bit of lunch. And some diesel, yes. I need some diesel. Grab some diesel and grab a pie. Just a plain steak pie. But I'm gonna keep moving because I've lost a bit of time now. It's two o'clock and I got a bit over an hour's drive and then find a camp and so on. So I wanna get a hustle on now because I diddle daddied a bit too much and I've lost a couple of hours now. <laughs> no, it was fun. This is the Nala Mia, this one's called, designated. I'd have to get the jar out and get a fire on, get the tent up, and do a whole pile of nothing. Actually, that's a lot, that's a complete lie. I gotta cook. <laughs> so I got a bit to do. Yeah, oh, start with that. Ah, <sighs> lovely. Just 
talking to Kelly. Poor thing, he's got the gross head cold that I've just had for the last, when did I get it? I don't know, last week sometime. It's hanging around. Now she's cooked. Poor thing. Oh, oh, oh drink, that's what I want to drink. What have I got in here? Let's see. Jeez, not a lot. Sprite. Perfect. Fancy. Something to wet the whistle. So I don't know if you can tell the, nah, probably not from here, the dust, there's a film of dust on the patrol from those few gravel roads that I drove on the way in. Man, what a drive though, that. Oh, yeah, didn't film a lot of it, no real need to, but just coming through these back roads, you have to do it, you have to, I'm telling you, like, don't just go taking the usual way, the highway and the, the quick way. Look at the, look at the, like, the little back roads through these areas that are, um, like, it'll take you a little bit longer and the speed limits aren't as high and there might be a few turns here and there. And, but just the, the satisfaction on that is just driving through the farmland and all the hill country and Especially this time of year when everything's green and it's um oh man it's just like it is the single most easiest way to go back a hundred years, 150 years, because you'll always see some old cottage, be it abandoned or still being used, an old shed, old farm shed, old rusty patina roofs and like it's just a it's just iconic. It is the simple, most easiest way to see pure Dinkum Australian history. I love it. That's like the the only reason I do it is just to see, because I know I'm guaranteed to see some old some old relics and like even farming machinery. And I went past one, and there was an old Holden Ute that had been sat on the corner of the entry for this property and. There's a couple of tractors sitting there and they're all rusty and patina and it's just like, <clears throat> it's just such a step back into where it all started for us and like where it's still, still going. You know, without our farming obviously we'd be nothing so it's very important. It's funny you get, you get like, I just cruise along just sort of enjoying the drive and then all of a sudden you've got a farm you right up your ass taking taking too long going too slow and there's some old cocky who's getting frustrated because he's trying to get home or go wherever he's going you hold him up you forget that they're all like their vital roads out there <laughs> driving their lifelines but yeah saw a couple of tractors along the way as well 
It's young Sheila driving a big tractor. She let me pass. Everyone waves and yeah, it's just <coughs> it's just something else. Anyway, I digress. Cheers. It's nice to be sat here. It's nice but weird to be talking to the camera again. And um, to be out filming, to be out driving, traveling, camping. It's quite nice. Yeah. The color of these wandoos at last light is just next level. So good. It's gold now and now. Pretty damn nice. Have something small because I want to be on the road a bit quicker and I want to head head into a pub and get a counter meal for lunch later. So smaller breakfast. I did think I'd be on the road by now, but um, I don't know. It's just a miserable morning. Yeah, I had no real motivation to get up too early, so I didn't <laughs> get on the road shortly. I reckon and go and do a bit of a drive through the forest. Or the woodland, that's what they call it. Check that out. And then I'll hide sail at west, homeward bound. So there was rail, there was a railway out in this area from dwelling up. They used to cut timber and stock, mail sometimes, passengers. Um, from dwelling up, came from dwelling up and would come here to go to Narragin. Um, I don't know if this was some sort of depot spot or not. And um, there's a trail that I'm not going to do it now, it's a couple of k's long and a bit short on time and energy but there's there's a trail I think that follows sort of the rail run or a bit of the rail run out here um, there's this setup. it's like a stable maybe but it looks like a mock-up it doesn't look original to me, it looks quite new because then over on the other side there's some um, a similar sort of thing but it looks a lot older and sort of a bit more decrepit and then there's this this looks like a maybe a 
for loading this little bit here I'll wander over here and have a look at these old posts Yeah, so that over there looks somewhat like what it's a replica of what this was at some point. If they were bringing stock in through here, then it makes sense that they'd need somewhere to. Oh, what's this sign say? Oh, right, here we go. These stockyards were used to hold sheep, cattle, and occasionally horses. A wheeled and inclined ramp, okay, called a race, it was attached to a rail car and stock loaded to capacity. The race was then pulled away while the train moved along and then reattached to load the next car. Yeah, so I was, I was pretty much on it. Another structure along the, along the same track. I don't know. I reckon it's for water, obviously for water. Would have had a tank up there. And there's uh, these races for water catchment. Big concrete footings. I wonder if it was because trains were coming through back then they would have been steam. I mean, surely just based on my limited knowledge that it would be something to do with the steam trains. There's no no info on it which is quite disappointing. Would have been cool to know exactly what it was all about. but. Turn off the main drag in here onto Mary Road. <coughs> Mary Road, yeah. I haven't driven this before. This is actually a 23k scenic drive a loop in through here. So I thought I'd come and drive this because it's just a different, a different stretch that I've never, never driven before. If anything remarkable pops up, I'll let you know. If not. See at the end, and I will have had a nice drive. <laughs> just pulled over for a moment. The sun's just, well, it's just gone back behind a little cloud now, but it has been out, and the, the light on these Wandu trees is just nothing short of spectacular. And then I saw this big beauty here, and I thought, oh man, I've got to get out of the car. And, have a look at it. Look at the colour of this thing. It's going to be hard with the light coming from that direction, but isn't that just incredible? It's like quintessential Wondu, <laughs> Wondu tree.
And yes, I have arrived at my final destination. <laughs> the Dwelling Up Hotel. Time for a palmy, baby. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I come here for a palmy a lot. Like, probably an unhealthy amount. But it's all on the way home from me. I've just come through Boddington. Dwelling up as I head back home towards the coast. So, it would be rude not to. Perfect way to finish the trip. Oh man, absolutely mega. I'll never get sick of eating that. Amazing. This is dwelling up. Known for its milling and logging and jarrah. That's a big jarrah tree by the way, King Jarrah. Look at the size of that thing. So this is in town just opposite the pub. Some nice pine trees all planted and Little green area, you got the train up there, they got steam trains that run. Uh, on the weekend they run. Twice a day, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, very cool. It's ridiculous how often I'm up here. I love this place. And I'm about 40 minutes away, so. Yeah, alright, well that's it, I'm done, I'm going home. Damn boy, it's coming in. I'm not far from home now. Well, yeah, home is just I won't say where, <laughs> my father, I'm home pretty much, I'm just going past the beach, from the, from the wheat belt and the bush and open plains and farmland back home to the coast, she's pretty wild, it's coming in, love it, I love WA, I love being able to go out there, like max three hours east, max. And I'm out in farmland and what feels like real isolation, it's not really, but. And then I can come back and here I am at home and back by the water. Love it, love it. So that's it, I'm gonna go home, park up on my gas. Get the ute ready for work tomorrow. Go make some money. Get some cash in the bank again. Well, right, folks, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you on the next one. Everybody. Anyway.